Oh. Hi, welcome to another short edition of Beer 30. I'm Greg. And I'm Josh. I tried to get <laughs> Today, we've got a new one from Boulevard. It uh, comes in this nice wine bottle. It's uh, their chocolate ale. Let's see if I get this open quick. Don't shoot me, Greg. It's like a wine bottle. Ooh, Ooh look at that smoke. That is that cool. Pop. Top so pop. This is the much anticipated chocolate ale. This has been released about a week ago, swirling through the, uh, I guess, greater Missouri area and to areas beyond. And so. Uh, just in time for Valentine's Day, we thought we'd give this one a try. Well, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Oh, and happy birthday, Josh. Oh, thank you, Greg. Hey, thanks for remembering. Yeah. So this is, uh, let's see, uh, chocolate ale. Um, this is 9.1% alcohol. Oh, I am, I am picking hints of uh, chocolate up. So this one we let it. It doesn't tell us where exactly how to serve, but it does. It tells us to serve in the prop, uh, to store upright and serve in the proper glass, which is a toilet glass. Proper glass. But it doesn't exactly tell us the right temperature. I think we've let this warm up to about 40 degrees or so. It's a little warmer than it was. It was pretty cold. So it pours nice, uh, not transparent. Nice, probably about two finger head that we've got there. It's a nice looking beer. What do you pick up on the nose, Greg? I got the cocoa nibs, and I don't know if I pick up anything else. I get a little bit. Of, I mean, it's almost so like a dark chocolate. Yeah, it says there's hints of caramel and uh, vanilla in there as well, and some nutty flavoring. But uh, maybe that'll be more in the taste and the smell. It's definitely a lighter color, not what we're used to from some of the chocolate beers yeah. that we've tried, which have been all dark beers and porters and stouts. So. This one's an ale. Let's give it a try. It. Cheers. Happy oh, Valentine's that, Day. Yeah. <laughs> All that stuff. Hey, manly. Manly <laughs> holiday. You know, right, right away, I really pick up the alcoholness of it. I mean, I think the uh, the flavor is, is subtle. It's good. It's nice. I do pick up that dark chocolate taste. Um, the alcohol kind of kind of hits you, though. Yeah, and I have to be honest, I have given this a little try before in another bottle. This we let warm up a little bit. Yeah. I think I'm really picking up chocolate a lot more than I did with that other one. Yeah. Um, it kind of is like taking a bite out of chocolate, but it's got that alcohol behind, like right. almost those alcoholic chocolate covered bottles. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's kind of how I would explain it the best. So that would be our tip is to, we've had it two ways. We've had it well chilled, which has probably been about 33, 34 degrees. And this one's probably at about 40 degrees. So definitely Much better. let it warm up. A lot more flavors come out. Brings it out. I think the aromas come out a little bit more too. Definitely. Definitely better. It, it's definitely better. Uh, I was kind of underwhelmed before this. Now it, it, it adds a lot more being a little warmed up. So Boulevard, if you're watching, Maybe put on the back here, um, unless we missed it, but we read through it pretty carefully. If there's a, a perfect serving temperature, that yeah. would be nice on here. Um, this this batch is has a best buy date of September 2014, so I guess um, you know you could sell her this. You could, you could have a romantic evening in the midsummer um, and enjoy yourself some chocolate ale. And chocolate covered strawberries are good any time, you know. That's right. Yeah, but it definitely goes with your Valentine's Day. I mean, they put in a wine bottle. They got it with a cork. Yeah. You treat your lady to this. Uh, a little, uh, little nice romantic evening at the. Uh, what are the girls like? <laughs> this is why I have no girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> at the gazebo. I don't at the know. gazebo. What the gazebo? <laughs> I didn't know what you were going with about? that. I thought we were talking about summertime tastings, right? Well, yeah, summertime tasting. You yeah. have a picnic lunch. Yeah. And a you said strawberries. I was thinking summertime. So that's there what you would do. True. Anyway. Okay. Well, I think we've uh, played this out. I I am going to say I think this is a bee beer. I uh, I at first. 
cold? I would not have said uh, colder, I guess I should say. I, was, I would not have said that. I was underwhelmed. This warmed up a little, brought out a B in me. I agree. I, I'm borderline B, B plus. It, it, well, I'm going to give it a B as well. I'm going to agree with you, but I think it's really close to a B plus. You know, another couple of degrees, we might be rating this a little bit higher. Maybe yeah. we should cut and, well, it's too much work. But, <laughs> well, maybe next year we'll let it warm up to 45 degrees or so and we'll see what it tastes like then. I'll definitely say dark chocolate. More dark, dark chocolate, not milk chocolate. Definitely. Yeah. So, anyway, <clears throat> see you next time. Okay, here's what you do. You you can't meet anyone a, after Thanksgiving. Between Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day. A little tip from your Uncle Greg here. <laughs> hey, Uncle Greg says. Uh, you might as well keep solo because you're you get. Oh my God! <laughs> what are you doing? Ah!